Hey guys, it's Brian. Uh, today I wanted to talk about bowel management after a spinal cord injury. This, as you know, is a real big deal, especially right when you get paralyzed, uh, because walk, not walking is the easy part. <laughs> uh, bowel and bladder management, since you can't control it with your brain, is tricky. Uh, so what you're gonna have to do is get on a bowel program or a bowel regimen. You're basically potty training your body uh, to go when you want it to. When I was first injured, I was having a lot of accidents. Um, previous to my injury, I used to go, you know, once, twice, sometimes every day. Um, but as when you're paralyzed, your body kind of, your bowel kind of slows down a little bit. Um, so at this point, I've trained my body to go every other day. And I go in the mornings uh, right before work. I'll get up and go. And the way I trigger a bowel movement is uh, through a mini enema. This was a liquid enema, it's called a enemies. And this uh, works a lot faster than the suppositories, the solid suppositories. I like these, they are more expensive, but they work in about five minutes as opposed to 15 plus. So in that time period, you will produce a bowel movement. For me personally, I take about an hour <laughs> to do my bowel program because I wanna make sure everything is out. Obviously, I don't want to have to go to work and have an issue. So I will digital stim myself about every five minutes or so, and it just kind of continues to work the muscle and work things down. Uh, I'll also use my finger to dig, and obviously I'm using gloves to do that. Um, it's not fun, but it's what we got to do. Um, but you will notice that your body will kind of train itself to get used to pushing. Uh, since you can't push yourself, a lot of the times you're gonna have to kind of assist with your finger. Um, I just wanna show you real quick, we'll do the, uh, the toilet transfer just to kind of show you what that looks like. Here we go. So instead of getting right beside it, I figured out that angling toward it gives me a little bit better access to it. It gives me a little bit closer. So then I'll just lock in the brakes, I'll scoot to the edge of the chair, I'll move my left leg first, and then basically I'm just transferring over and sitting down as gently as possible. The seat cushion's padded, so I am spending about an hour on the toilet, uh, which I know is a long time, but with it padded, I'm getting a little bit extra protection. I'm also doing pressure releases uh, every so often, probably about every 10 minutes or so. So as I get started, I'm going to put on a glove, I'm gonna use some lube, and first I'm gonna check myself just to see if anything's kind of right at the back door ready to pull out. If that's not the case, then I'll just do a quick stim, and then I will put the, uh, elect or the suppository in. As I put that in, I like to kind of hold it in. I know that sounds pretty gross, but this will come out right away if you don't hold it in because what it does is it triggers the bowels to work, which is gonna trigger gas. It's gonna come right back out. So that's kind of what I do. I'll usually hold it for about five minutes. At that point, I'll start to have a bowel movement and then I can take my hand away. And about every five minutes or so, I'll go in and check, pull out whatever's there, and then do another stim. And like I said, that takes about an hour. It's a little overkill. I like to make sure that my bowels are completely empty before I go about my day, because I don't wanna have an issue. So this will um, get a little bit easier as you do it more often. The nice thing about this toilet is the bowl is a little bit elongated. So that's giving me a little bit more room to reach behind. And I'm gonna kind of bend over like that. And that's how I'm doing the stimulation and the, uh, the digital stem. So if you have any questions, let me know. I might've skipped something. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot.